In this world, we have been left behind by the gods. After the Titans fell, the children of Olympus returned to Camp Oasis to celebrate the festival of the Pantheons, where other gods have stepped forward to make their mark. Greek, Egyptian, Asian, Oceanic, and Nordic Pantheons must now live together despite millennia of hostilities. Now their descendants seek to prove themselves and survive against a dangerous world of mythical beasts, monsters, and worse. Welcome to Origins of Olympus. Edgar will really like it. He's, he's earned it. He's been behaving a lot better lately, and he's got that little girl cornered. Uh, 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 what, uh, what, what's going on here? What are you doing to Edgar? Oh, the beast away from me. Uh, uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, Edgar, back up, back up. What, what, what are you doing? Daisy? 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 Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, Get get away get away from her get away from her oh no no it's fine I think I think um I think Edgar was maybe trying to just play or to, that is what you were doing right Edgar get, yeah yep yep that's what he said he was just trying to play with her wait do you actually own the scorpion own him no no he, he he's his own scorpion I I I just, just He's my companion, my my friend. Is that your pet, or...? No, not my pet. I don't own him. He's my friend. Anyway, what, what about this person? How how do I know she wasn't trying to uh, pick on Edgar? She is definitely afraid of scorpions. She was up. Uh, I found her when she was being surrounded by desert monsters, including scorpions. No, oh, well, but, well, that, uh, how do I know you're telling the truth? Daisy, do you like scorpions? No. D yeah, she says that, but, uh, at, a anyway, who, who are you? cowering on the, on the top where Edgar, can, where your Edgar can't go to her. Well, well, it might appear that way to you. From, from my perspective, it looks like she has the high ground. What is this? Star Wars? That doesn't work out here. But uh, I, I think she was about to attack Edgar. Really? Do you do you want to say that while taking a look at her again? Where there's I'm, I'm not judging her by her size. You know, you know, sometimes really dangerous things come in small packages. You might want to consider putting her on a leash. A leash? She's not a She's a person, and two, she doesn't really go anywhere. I'm surprised she even left her pot. Uh, um, okay, well, well, I mean, I mean, I'm not gonna put Edgar on a leash. Uh, wait, actually, would you, would you ever wear a leash? No, no, come back, come back. No, I'm not. Okay, okay, yes. Wait, where would you even wrap that up? Actually, would you put that underneath the arms? Um, I don't know. I imagine it would be more of like a body harness kind of thing than just like a leash around the neck since he doesn't really you need like four no six no actually you need about ten holes total it, 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 that doesn't matter we need we don't need to work out the logistics of it or anything like that because 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 it's not happening I mean uh, who, who are you by the way I, I uh, you just kind of came out of nowhere here oh right no I'm I'm Mario the uh, son of Zeus, and I live in the cabin right over there, right near the entrance of this Greek, uh, Egyptian area. Zeus? I don't think I've heard of a Zeus. Who's Zeus? Oh, that's that's a that's a surprising thing. Normally, if anyone hears about the Greeks, it's normally about the three Hades, Poseidon, and uh, Zeus. I, I don't know anything. Do I look Greek to you? 
No? Look more like a... I don't know how to describe you, honestly. Um, but... Zeus is the king of gods, the uh, leader of the Greek pantheon. Oh, okay. God of storms. <laughs> God of Storms. Oh, sounds fancy. I, I, I guess you have these powers as well. Uh, to a degree. Uh, okay. Um. And, and who is who is this? The little the little one. That's uh Daisy, my uh adopted kid. Oh. Oh. Okay. I mean uh oh. I'm, well, I'm sorry Edgar scared you, Daisy, but don't for a second think I don't know what you're up to. You were trying to attack him. Uh, really? Really? That, oh, well, well, is it is it really that far-fetched? It very much is. Especially with how Daisy is scared of everything. She's not a fighter. Uh, well, I mean, I, I'm kind of offended that you're kind of trying to throw the whole blame on her. No, no, no well, well, Edgar's not a fighter either. He would, he wouldn't hurt a fly. Actually, that's a bad example. He eats flies. He, he wouldn't. Um, um, he's, he's not a he. he, he uh, but hold on one second, Edgar. Come here. Okay. Were you trying to eat that little girl? Oh, okay, so, so, so you were just trying to play then? Just make sure that... Okay, okay make just, sure that you're not out there. You just gotta make sure you don't scare people like that. You you know what you look like, right? You're like you a giant look. freaking scorpion. Okay, okay. Yep, yep, nope, nope. Edgar says that she was trying to attack him. Really? No, actually, he didn't say that. He, he he did say he was just trying to to play. To be honest, it's a playful scorpion. Yeah, he's kind of a nuisance. He's uh, he's actually kind of a pain in the neck. If I'm being honest with you. Well, I don't. I didn't mean anything by it. No, I just okay. Who are you exactly? Oh, I'm 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 Mevidus. I am the son of Circuit. Circuit, Circuit. I'm trying to remember. Like this is the first time I've actually had to start learning the Egyptians, because until this summer I had no idea the other pantheons existed. I suppose that's fair. That is, uh, that might be the reason I didn't know who your father was. Um, but yes, yeah, Circa, she is the goddess of, um, well, as I'm sure you could guess, scorpions and poison and, and uh, 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 snakes, things like that. <sighs> Sorry, I had a little bad run-in with snakes last year. Are you, are you okay? Am I sparking? Uh, a little bit. I get, I get that, that when I'm angry, confused. Scared, bad trauma. Actually, I spark a lot, actually. Huh. Oh well, well, well. I'm sorry if I brought up a sensitive topic. I, I guess. Look, look. Okay. Obviously, this whole thing was a misunderstanding. I, I, I don't think. You know, I said Edgar didn't mean any harm, and I guess I believe that Daisy wasn't trying to hurt Edgar. I, I might have jumped to conclusions there. I, honestly, I think they could be friends. I don't think so, because Daisy still has a deathly fear of scorpions. Well, uh, maybe well, she can tolerate him if uh, he doesn't bother her. Well, yeah, I mean, that's just it. I, I, I think Edgar could help her get over her fear of scorpions. Right, Edgar? Uh, hi. You know we'll have to we'll have to you know come back to that later because uh, Daisy is still young and she's still very afraid. She still has like a 
that memory is still kind of fresh of her being surrounded by all those monsters. <laughs> uh, yes, but Edgar's not a monster. That's a terrible word to call him. You're, you're not a monster, are you, Edgar? Well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not calling Edgar a monster. I'm just saying that when the ones she did deal with were. He's just a, a, an overly aggressive, but arguably overly friendly scorpion who likes to eat people from time to time. He eats people? D no, not, not, well, sometimes, but usually not unless I ask him to. How, now, how often does that happen? Uh, 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 I don't know. How often do you think people get on my bad side? I'm assuming I might be getting on yours, depending on because of that look on your face. Hey, hey. That look on my face. Oh, well. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, as I said, I, I do think this was all, you know, a bit of a misunderstanding. I, you know what? Maybe we got off on the wrong foot, and I sort of jumped. I, I do apologize for that. Um, I'm not exactly the best at making friends, I guess. Yeah, join the club on that one. Look, uh, well, uh, let me just... Hit. Daisy, I do apologize for what happened, and I do apologize if Edgar scared you. Or, are you okay? He didn't hurt you or, or anything like that, did he? No? No, but when she's around new people, she gets a little, like, shy. Oh, it, it, it probably doesn't help that I have scorpions literally on my body, too. I could see that being a little yeah. intimidating. But look, um, Daisy, um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm friendly. You don't have to worry about me. And I, I know you were scared of creatures and things like that because of bad experiences you've had. But I can assure you that you and Edgar... Uh, you could be friends one day, I think. T to be honest, if Edgar was there when those creatures attacked you, he probably would have protected you. Yeah, okay. okay. I guess yeah, she doesn't want to talk to me. I, I did try. Oh. Yeah, no, no, no. It's not It's not just you. It's just she rarely talks around me. She's still technically young by, uh, even by her species years. No, well, that's that, that's fair enough, and uh, and as I said, it, you know, I could probably surprise her. Most people don't react too kindly to him, but I can assure you, he's a complete sweetheart, totally harmless most of the time. I, I'm sorry, I can't see him as a lap pet, like one, like a cat or a dog, and just crawling up on you and just expecting pets or something. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean. Me and him don't really have that kind of relationship. It's like, like imagine your best friend. Would you pet your best friend? Wouldn't that be kind of weird? Huh. You know, funny enough, I don't know if I. I guess Silo kind of counts as that. Sometimes. Oh. I can't imagine. Oh, you're a friend him. of Silo's. Yeah. Oh, okay. This this all makes sense now. No wonder why you're. Uh, we, me, me and me and Zylo didn't have the best uh, first meeting either. Oh no! What did he do? Well, well, <laughs> funny, funny story. It uh, it involved Edgar. Strangely enough, um, Edgar might have snuck up on him in his sleep, and his reflex action was to send him to the underworld. She's been doing that a lot lately. He's oh. been doing that a lot lately. Oh, really? He, he, he's done it more than once. He he tried to make it look like a seem like an accident when he did it to Edgar. Now, who, did, who else has he sent to the underworld? Uh, Brian. Uh, a few other people. I think a lot of monsters. Okay, he must have thought Edgar was a monster. Edgar, you just like. You rub people the wrong way when you first meet well, them. Well, it's to be expected. Before this whole transportation of the camp in general, the Camp Oasis was, of course, in a desert. And can you guess what we had to fight whenever we left the desert? Um, camels. Scorpions. 
Oh, right, scorpions. Tunnel that does, worms. That, that does make more sense. Right. And giant ants. Oh, okay. Well. Uh, look. Yeah, the Greek path, the Greek world is weird. Yeah, I guess you could probably say the same about the Egyptians now that I think about it. Yeah, no, it's weird. It's weird, and, uh, you know, it's just a unique thing to see the a child of the scorpion god. Yeah, yeah, she, um... Circuit is interesting. She's, um... Uh, I don't even know how to explain it. I mean, I mean, she's she's always been good to me. She's she's helped me out a lot, but um, can't say I haven't seen her dark side. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, uh, sat that uh, uh, you you okay? Uh, yeah, sorry. Ugh. Are you um? Are, are, Am I sparking again? Yes. Are, are you dangerous when you're sparking like that? Not unless you have metal on you. No, I, I, I don't think I do. Um, oh, and electronic devices. I, can't, I tend to overcharge some phones sometimes. Oh, no, no. no don't have one of those, so... um. Well, uh, anyway, I guess it was good to meet you, Mario. I, I, I do wish we could have met under better circumstances. Yeah... And I kind of wish I didn't, uh... Well, I actually heard about your scorpion a few days ago. Uh, a few days ago, I think. Oh, he... He, he, to finally see it. he... he has a reputation, you're telling me. Well, sort of. They say that there's some kind of monster guarding the Egyptian pantheon, and I'm guessing that this is supposedly the guardian monster or something. Oh, pff. Guarding is a strong word. It... I can tell. It's a, it... It's a little bit more... He sneaks off when I fall asleep and gets himself into trouble. Actually, oh, as yeah. I say that, this whole thing makes a little more sense. Yeah, no, this one right here, uh... She, uh... She's been coming into the cabin uh, scared because she keeps seeing a giant scorpion wandering in and out of the your, the, your area. Oh, well, I wonder who that could be. <laughs> I wonder who could that be. Yeah. Um, but, well, look, I do, I do apologize, and um, I understand she has, she has a fear, but uh, I can assure you, you both have nothing to worry about. Edgar, you, they have nothing to worry about, right? Okay. Yep. That. Yep. He agrees. He see. He was. Ju he was just trying to play. He's All right. So can he agree to just? I guess not bother Daisy if that's possible. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. Let's go with that. You're, you're not gonna bother her, right? Edgar, right? Thank you. Y yep, yep, he totally agrees. Yeah, because uh, I can't promise that if he comes charging at us, I won't be remembering the other scorpions that I fought, and might try. I'll try not to barbecue him. Oh, I'm p <laughs> I don't think he would let you do that. What do you mean, won't let me? Well, as, as I said, he only attacks people uh, when I tell him to, but um, he oh, also I'm... will defend himself if he does feel threatened. Yeah, no, I've dealt with scorpions like him before. Oh. I think I even faced what was considered a colossal scorpion once. I can't remember. What do you call what do you call a scorpion that's the size of a house? Oh, uh, but I, th I think colossal is a, is an appropriate word. Yeah, no, I dealt with like one of those. It was like a I wandered into the wrong part of the desert and fell into like a nest or something. Oh, that uh, that sounds un unfortunate, but um, yeah, I mean. You've maybe dealt with scorpions like Edgar, but not exactly like Edgar. He, he's, um, how should I put it? He's special. Is he like a gift from your mother or something? Yes, in fact. Um, huh. but, but, okay, as a, as a sign of good faith, Edgar is going to apologize. Edgar, apologize to Daisy for scaring her. 
No, 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 don't go near her. That, that, no, that, no. Just, just, you can do it from here. I'm sure she can hear you. There, did you hear that? He says he is truly sorry, and it will never happen again, and he was only trying to play. Daisy seems like a nice person, and he thought she would be fun to play with. He would never, ever eat her, ever, and would never do anything to harm her. He said all that within two jumps? Yeah. Yep. Huh. It, it, anyway, um, it, it was good meeting you. I, I, I think. Uh, I, I, uh, I'm sorry uh, we met under these circumstances, but um, hopefully we'll uh, cross paths in the future, and it won't be as um, uh, awkward. Yeah, I guess I'll see you around most likely at the trials. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, well, hopefully, as long as I find out about them. Um, apparently, there's been a few trials so far, and I didn't hear about them till after the fact, because, from what I can tell, the Egyptians don't even have a counselor, so I'm just sort of, you know... Wait, what happened to that other guy? He was supposed to be, like, the Michael guy or something? Mikhail? I, I, I've heard of him, but as far as I'm concerned, he is just a myth, because I have never met him, I have never seen him, you think he'd be, like, you know, waiting here to gr greet new campers and stuff when we all first got here, but, um, as far as I know, he doesn't even exist, because I've never met him. Well, to be fair, I haven't even met him myself, so I only saw him at the camel races. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Well, well, anyway, um, again, it was, uh, good to meet you, and I suppose we'll cross, path cross uh, paths in the future. All right, uh, let's get going, Edgar. We'll see you two later. Good, goodbye, Daisy. Right. Okay. Yep. Sorry, she's just very shy. What were you thinking, Edgar? What was what was that back there? Are you are you crazy? I, I know, I mean, I, I know that you were just trying to be friendly, and you know you were just trying to be friendly, but but they didn't know that. You got, you got to think about the way you look. You are a giant scorpion. You were going to scare people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I tried to cover for you the best I can, but if you didn't notice, I had nothing. I had, I, I had no good argument to back you up. You, you literally attacked a child. I mean... Look, I know you're very curious. This this whole thing with the camp and everything is a new experience for you. But but attacking children, I mean that, that that's just too far. Uh, yes, yes, I know. I mean, in the end, I explained it to them. I, you're lucky I showed up when I did. But I, I, I think they understood that you didn't mean any harm. But but look, you got to think about it. You know why we're here. We need to find somebody. We need to find the person who did this to me and gave me this power in the first place. And we're trying to keep a low profile. So it doesn't help when you bring all this unnecessary negative attention to us. I, yes, yes, I know you didn't mean it. It's, it's fine. Look, it's just, we gotta use our heads moving forward. Look, we've been meeting some people and, and stuff and and honestly, some people actually seem pretty nice. It was, it's been pleasant meeting them, but as far as our goal and finding the person we need to find, we have literally got nowhere. We, we really need to start, you know, uh, achieving that goal a little bit better, if that makes any sense. Yeah, yes, we, we need to focus. We, we, we will find the person who did this to 